Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five reasons why your staff are leaving you. You spend so much money hiring people, you spend so much money training them, you spend so much money retaining them, yet they're still leaving and you're trying to figure out why is that the case because HR talent is one of the most difficult things for us as food entrepreneurs have to deal with. It's something that is super, super annoying, which is the reason why I'm sharing with you the top five reasons why they're leaving. So then that way, once you are aware of them, you can actually make the change and now you can start retaining your staff a lot more. So now that we understand the importance of it, we're gonna dive right in. The number one reason why someone leaves is because of the lack of respect. So many times as owners, like even for myself, I'm sometimes guilty of it. It is because of the fact that I am a owner. I treat other people as my minions, as my staff. And in turn, we tend to forget that they too are humans. So then we sometimes don't give them the respect that they demand. People work not just for money. They also work for respect. They also work for fulfillment. So at the end of the day, if you don't respect them, if you don't care for them, they're gonna leave for sure because we as humans, we want that gratification. We want to be appreciated. And at the end of the day, as owners, we often forget about that, which is the reason why it's super important for you to actually see the good in your staff compliment them and actually truly care about these compliments that you're providing them because at the end of the day they're the ones that are serving your customers and if they have a good experience with you they can translate this good experience to your customers as well so at the end of the day make sure you respect your staff and actually care for them sometimes maybe give them a compliment a genuine compliment that you see in them not just a compliment saying that hey you know what i love your smile but truly truly see what is it about them that is so special and give them an authentic true compliment they're gonna feel it and they're gonna feel appreciated and they will reciprocate and treat your customers like their own the second reason why some of your staff might be leaving you is because of hiring bad apples and what i mean by that is you may already have a very very good interviewing process that aligns with the vision that uh, make sure that they, they might be answering all the right questions they might seem like super bubbly and super happy and yet when they are working they become a bad apple they spread rumors they have poor work ethic they're lazy they're leaving their slack behind for others to carry out for them and when that happens it bleeds through to all the good people that you have your good people and your good staff would feel um, a little bit off they feel like that they have to pick up this person's slack they feel that they are not performing as much as they are and in turn there's going to be conflict you don't want conflict when there's conflict that happens when the values don't align you're basically just making the working environment terrible and not as enjoyable for your staff and sometimes a lot of times actually these dramas are the reason why some of your good apples will quit because they don't want to be poisoned they don't want to be working in this stressful and unhealthy environment so what that means is that you as an owner need to make sure you understand the dynamics of how your staff is working you need to understand and always always fire the bad apples quick and fast because it's going to cost you a lot more if you don't fire them as an example with 720 suites there was actually a staff that we picked on and super negative always always spreading negativity and talking like rumors and spreading different things around the, the group and in turn just because that was happening it really changed the morale of the whole team i didn't really know what was going on because i was just like wow all of a sudden we hired this person we thought that they were amazing but then yet now this person is quitting that person is quitting and in turn i realized that the reason why they were quitting was because of a rumor that was spread that you know what we were trying to cheap out that we were not taking care of our staff and that was just a really horrible experience because of this bad apple that i let slip through the crack so unfortunately these things do happen and it's going to be very costly if 
you don't cash them at the beginning. The third reason why someone would want to quit your establishment is because of the lack of empowerment. And what I mean by empowerment is that we don't support them. We don't support them with the right equipment, right tools for them to do their job. At the end of the day, it is a very stressful environment already as is in a food and beverage environment. So if you do not provide equipment that would make their job easier, make their life easier, then they're gonna feel even more stress. And that stress really just comes from the fact that they feel that their owners don't care, that you don't care. And if you don't care, why should they care? That's the reason why it's super important for us to invest in equipment, to make sure that our job as owners is to empower our front end staff to do their job. So anything that you can do to make their life easier, you should definitely do that. And the number one thing that we can do is to make sure that all the equipment that we have is up to standard and is up to the, the way that it should be to make their life easier. So for example, with 720 Suites, we were actually limiting how much our staff is able to produce and yield because of our machine. The machine that we were using is a gravity pump machine. And what that means is that we're using gravity to pull the liquid out from the machine, which turns into soft served ice cream. And because of that reason, when there isn't enough liquid in the machine, the product doesn't come out as fast. And in turn, it's a very frustrating process when 20 people are waiting in the queue and the ice cream doesn't come out fast enough, which is the reason why we ended up upgrading our machine to a pump machine. And what that means is it doesn't matter how much liquid is in the machine, it still comes out to be the same consistency because now we use a pump instead of using gravity. Yes, the machine is a little bit more expensive, but nonetheless, our staff is happy because they feel like that they're doing the job. They feel like that they don't feel bad about getting our customers to wait because now they can actually serve that turnover. At the end of the day, it's our job as owners to empower our staff for them to do their job. And the number one thing that we need to empower them with is the proper equipment for them to do their job, whether it be POS system, whether it be the, the kitchen area, anything of that sort, we need to empower them. The fourth reason why someone would not stay with your company is because of the lack of growth and opportunity. And what I mean by that is a lot of people don't just work for the sake of money. Although many people do, they work beyond that. They work for a sense of learning, a sense of fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. So if you are just competing on price, if you're only providing a salary for someone, then they can go to any other restaurants out there. However, if you can actually provide growth and learning opportunity, training to your staff, that itself combines with the money, gives your staff a sense of belonging, a sense of the fact that, ooh, they're actually learning. They're getting paid and they're learning. They're gaining different skill set. And that itself would create a lot more loyalty to your brand versus other restaurants who don't provide this training, who thinks that they should save on the training, who thinks that training is just an added expense. Rather, I see training as a way to invest in the future of our team. And in turn, when your team learns, when your team grows, they can bring much more value for you as well. They can actually now know the proper way to treat their customer, give you better way for operations and logistics. And these are all things that pays you back in dividends without you seeing that direct ROI. Nonetheless, it's up to us as owners and leaders to empower and to train and to help our staff develop and grow. And that itself <clears throat> is the number one reason why someone would want to stay with your company. For example, one of the person that we actually hired for five years, close to five years, just swirling ice cream, is still staying with us because of the fact that we pushed them to different conferences, from marketing conference to serving it right conference. And in turn, they were actually able to learn a lot of different skill set. And for them, working here, it goes beyond swirling an ice cream because they're able to bring more to the world. They're able to feel that they themselves are significant and in turn it validates them not just 
as being a server there, but as an important individual in our team. That itself comes from our investment in conferences and trainings in this individual. So if you have an opportunity to train your staff, push them out to different conferences, and then view this expense as a way of retaining your staff and not just as a conference exp uh, expense. The fifth reason why someone would quit your organization is because of poor scheduling and poor pay. This is a mistake that I see so many of my peers making because they're trying to penny pinch their staff. They're trying to save that quarter. They're, gonna, they're trying to save that 50 cents. And in turn, their staff sees that and they quit because they feel like that their boss is cheap, frugal, and not understanding. At the end of the day, we as owners, we need to understand that our staff have bills to pay as well, that they have a life out there as well. And if we always cut their schedule, and if we always just penny pinch them, then at the end of the day, they are gonna find a job that is much more fulfilling, that actually takes care of their basic needs. We need to understand for someone to perform well, they need to have the security in their job. They need to have security in their standard of living. And if we cannot even provide that, then it is very difficult for us to ask our staff to go above and beyond, to take care of our business, to actually care for our customers. You need to make sure that you start caring for your staff. You need to make sure that you give them the proper schedule, that you give them fair pay. Because in an industry like food and beverage, that turnover is super high. What if we just give our staff proper schedule? Food and beverage is known to have horrible schedule because we always need to work on the holidays. And it is really, really unfortunate because it really sacrifices other areas of our lives, of our staff's lives. So in turn, if we can give our staff good schedule that they can take multiple days off outside of the holidays, that they can have enough schedule to pay for the living, that they could have not just minimum pay, but maybe a dollar or two dollars extra. They're gonna find a lot more security in the job that they're working at. And in turn, they're gonna love staying at your food and beverage restaurant. So if you think that paying that extra dollar is too much, or if you think that that extra shift is too much, then unfortunately, you need to make sure that you reconsider that because if someone leaves, the money that we need to put out to train that new staff would outweigh that extra dollar that we're paying that staff. They'll outweigh the loyalty that we get from that staff. So next time you're thinking about like nickel pinching or penny pinching your staff, really do consider the gravity of the situation. So there you go. I've just talked to you about the five reasons why your good talent will always leave you if you continue making these mistakes. If you don't care for your staff, they'll always leave you, okay? So make sure that you truly genuinely care for your staff because they're not just anyone off the street. These are your family member, these are your team, and you need to make sure you care a lot for them. The second reason why you should always, always employ good people is that the bad apples will poison the whole pot. These bad apples would spread rumors, these bad apples would poison the rest of the values that your good staff have. And a lot of times when your good staff can't handle it anymore, they will leave. And the third reason is that we need to empower our staff. Empower our staff by giving them an environment, giving them all the, the tools to go to war for you give them good equipment so then that way they can produce the result that you're looking for. The fourth one, provide them with growth and learning opportunities. Events, conferences, the more you invest in your team, the more value they can bring back. And the more value they can bring back, the better they're gonna treat your customers, the better for your business. And this just becomes a really good flywheel. So then that way, your good staff will always stay with you. And the final reason that your staff, good, good staff, will always leave you if you don't give them good schedule, if you don't give them proper pay. This is a very, very easy fix, but yet a lot of people have this mistake because they don't give them good schedule and good pay. So if you want good staff to stay, 
make sure you don't make these five mistakes. Nonetheless, I really, really hope you find value in this video. If you want more information on how to build a successful restaurant business, check out in the link below. I've actually compiled everything I've learned in the last 10 years and I put it on all in this course. Have a look at it. We talk about how to find the proper location. We talk about how to negotiate for free rent, how to get in the heads of your customer, how do you actually design a winning matrix of a menu so then that way you become very profitable and some crazy marketing tactics that's gonna have, have lineups around the block for your, your restaurant. Nonetheless, check it out in the link below. Otherwise, if you like more of these videos, smash the subscribe button and like our video. Leave in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you guys next week.